This video is for educational purposes only. Always respect privacy laws. Have you ever wondered how much your phone reveals about you? Today, we're diving into 10 powerful, little-known phone tracking tools on GitHub that ethical hackers use to expose vulnerabilities and protect privacy. If you want to understand the real risks and how to defend against them, you're in the right place. Let's get started. First up is Trape, a tool that turns a simple link into a real-time surveillance device. Trape is a powerful open-source framework designed for social engineering and security awareness. It's not just another hacking tool, it's a demonstration of how easily attackers can exploit human curiosity and trust. With just a single link, Trape can open the door to a world of information about the unsuspecting target. Trape lets you create a fake web page that looks completely legitimate. When someone clicks on your crafted link, the tool immediately starts collecting a wealth of data. Everything from their real-time location and device details to their browser type, operating system, and even the network they're connected to. This information is gathered silently, without the user ever realizing what's happening in the background. What's even more alarming is that Trape can continue tracking the user even after they close the browser tab. In some cases, it can execute browser commands remotely, like making the phone vibrate or opening new tabs, further demonstrating the potential risks of clicking unknown links. This persistent tracking capability highlights just how vulnerable our devices can be to social engineering attacks. For ethical hackers and cybersecurity trainers, Trape is the perfect tool for illustrating the dangers of social engineering. It allows professionals to run live demonstrations, showing just how much damage a single careless click can cause. By simulating real-world attacks, trainers can help employees and users understand the importance of vigilance and skepticism online. Imagine being able to show employees their device's location being mapped in real time, right before their eyes. Nothing drives the lesson home quite like witnessing your own information being tracked and visualized on a map. This kind of hands-on demonstration is far more impactful than any warning or lecture. It's important to note that Trape isn't about spying or invading privacy. It's about raising awareness. The goal is to educate users about the real threats that exist online and to encourage safer browsing habits. By understanding how these attacks work, people can better protect themselves and their organizations. By learning the inner workings of tools like Trape, security professionals and everyday users alike can develop stronger defenses against social engineering attacks. Knowledge is the first line of defense in cybersecurity. That's why Trape is a must-have for any security professional's toolkit. It's not just a tool for hackers. It's a resource for anyone serious about cybersecurity and digital safety. Now that you've seen the power of Trape, let's move on to the next tool in our cybersecurity arsenal. Meet Seeker a powerful tool designed for one purpose, to uncover the exact location of a device with remarkable precision. Seeker is the specialist in pinpointing device locations, going far beyond what most people expect when they think about online tracking. Here's how it works. Seeker cleverly hosts a fake website that looks just like a legitimate app or service. When someone visits, it asks for location permissions, just like any trusted app would. If the target clicks allow, Seeker instantly captures their GPS coordinates, often accurate to within just a few meters. It doesn't stop there, it can also collect altitude, speed, and other location details, painting a detailed picture of where the device is and how it's moving. This is a wake-up call for everyone. Most people trust permission prompts without a second thought, not realizing how much information they're giving away with a single tap. That's why ethical hackers and cybersecurity professionals use Seeker during red team exercises. They test whether users will grant access to their location, revealing just how vulnerable organizations can be to social engineering. The lesson here is simple but crucial. Always question why a website or app is asking for your location. Is it really necessary or could it be a trick? Seeker is a direct and effective way to test and teach about human vulnerabilities. It shows in real time how easily someone's privacy can be compromised. For cybersecurity training, Seeker is a vital tool. It demonstrates real-world risks in a way that's impossible to ignore, making the dangers of careless permission granting crystal clear. Now that you've seen how location permissions can be exploited, let's take it a step further. Next, we'll explore what surprising information a simple phone number can reveal. Enter PhoneInfoga, the OSINT powerhouse for phone numbers. It scours public data to reveal country, carrier, line type, and even social media profiles linked to a number. 
Phone in Foga checks if a number is tied to Google accounts, social media, or appears in data breaches. For investigators, it's like having a digital private eye. No hacking, just connecting public dots to build a profile. It's a stark reminder. Your phone number is a key to your digital life. Security pros use it to assess information leakage and educate users. Guard your number like a password. Evil URL is the defender's secret weapon against phishing. It generates deceptive URLs using lookalike characters, think paypy.com with a sneaky letter swap. Attackers use these to trick users into clicking malicious links, but evil URL helps ethical hackers simulate and detect such threats. It's invaluable for penetration testing and training users to spot fake domains. Security teams can use evil URL to block or flag suspicious URLs before they cause harm. Understanding these tricks is key to building better defenses. Evil URL is essential for both offense and defense in the phishing game. Let's look at open source tracking alternatives next. Forget commercial Find My apps. While they're convenient, they often come with privacy trade-offs and limited customization. Many people don't realize that there's a whole world of open source alternatives out there, offering far more flexibility and transparency. On platforms like GitHub, you can find open source tracking projects that let you build your own location tracking system from the ground up. These projects are developed by communities of passionate programmers who value privacy, control, and innovation. With user consent, you can install a client app on your device that securely reports its location and status to a private server you control. This means you decide exactly what data is collected, how it's stored, and who can access it. No third-party companies involved. The real power of open source tracking lies in full control and endless customization. You can add new features, integrate real-time alerts, or even connect the system to other tools your organization uses. Most importantly, you keep all your data in-house, reducing the risk of leaks or misuse. These open source projects are ideal for companies that need to track valuable assets, manage fleets, or monitor equipment across multiple locations. They're also great for small businesses or individuals who want to experiment with advanced tracking without expensive subscriptions. For tech enthusiasts and students, exploring these projects is a fantastic way to learn how tracking apps work under the hood. You can dive into the code, understand the architecture, and even contribute improvements to the community. But there's a flip side. These projects also reveal how easily a seemingly helpful app could be repurposed as spyware if misused. It's a powerful reminder of the importance of transparency and ethical development. For ethical hackers and security researchers, studying open source tracking tools is a valuable lesson in both defense and offense. You can identify vulnerabilities, test your own defenses, and better understand how attackers might exploit similar systems. Ultimately, open source tracking demystifies the entire process. It empowers users to take control, highlights the importance of app security, and encourages responsible innovation in the digital age. Now let's talk about simulating the bait, an essential step in understanding how these systems work in real-world scenarios. GoFish is the go-to framework for phishing simulations. It lets you craft realistic emails and landing pages, perfect for testing if users will click tracking links. GoFish provides real-time analytics, who opened, who clicked, who submitted data. This feedback is gold for improving security awareness. Use GoFish to turn hypothetical risks into measurable results. It's the delivery system for your tracking tests. Safe, controlled, and professional. Every ethical hacker needs GoFish in their arsenal. Next, let's go deeper with OSINT. OSINT phone number toolkits are for serious investigators. They dig into obscure forums, public documents, and even run reverse image searches linked to phone numbers. These scripts can uncover hidden profiles, marketplace listings, or mentions in unexpected places. Highly modular, they let you target specific platforms or data types. For red teamers and forensic experts, this level of detail is invaluable for crafting convincing attacks or tracing digital footprints. It's a reminder of how much we leave behind online. Now let's look at phishing with a twist. Social Fish takes phishing realism to the next level. It clones popular social media login pages, making them nearly indistinguishable from the real thing. While users enter credentials, tracking scripts can silently capture their location. Social Fish exploits trust and muscle memory, making targets more likely to fall for the ruse. For red teams, it's perfect for testing how employees respond to highly convincing attacks. The results can drive real change in security culture. Social Fish is a master of disguise. Understanding it helps you defend against the most polished phishing threats. 
Now, what if you only have a username? Sherlock is the ultimate username hunter. Give it a username and it checks hundreds of sites for matches in seconds. Finding a target's social profiles expands your intelligence. Names, locations, interests, even contact info. This data helps craft targeted phishing or social engineering attacks. Sherlock is essential for reconnaissance, showing how a single username can unravel a person's digital life. It's a warning about the risks of reusing usernames across platforms. For security pros, it's a vital tool for demonstrating digital exposure. Let's finish with the most powerful tool of all. A Metasploit framework is the Swiss army knife of ethical hacking. It's a full platform with modules for exploiting mobile OS, apps, and networks. With Metasploit, you can craft a malicious app that, once installed, gives you deep access, camera, mic, contacts, and precise location. Its post-exploitation modules can pull GPS data, showing the impact of a full device compromise. Metasploit simulates worst-case scenarios, demonstrating why patching and app vetting are critical. It's not just about tricking users. It's about showing what happens if attackers get root access. Every serious cybersecurity pro learns Metasploit. It's the ultimate justification for strong mobile security. Let's wrap up. That's 10 powerful open source phone tracking tools every ethical hacker should know. The goal isn't fear, it's awareness. Understanding these tools is the best defense. Always get proper authorization before testing. Consent is the line between ethical and illegal. Use this knowledge to protect, not exploit. If you found this useful, like subscribe and share your thoughts below. Stay curious, stay secure.